Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial in Rhino 7 and I'm going to show you guys how to create a beer mug. And we're going to be using the Sweep 2 to create the handle and revolve for the actual glass. So we'll go ahead and open up Rhino 7. Um, we're going to go ahead and specify new uh, small objects in inches. Then we're going to go ahead and pull in our, um, our graphic and we'll click and drag out to create the, the beer mug. I'm going to double click at the top here to make this into one, one viewpoint. I'm going to center that. Now I'm going to start drawing with the uh, polyline. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my grid snaps. I'm going to make this kind of a wider at the bottom than it is at the top kind of mug. So we'll come out here like this, and then I'll come up here like this. And I'm going to come in a little bit, add some thickness to the mug. And I'm going to make the mug thicker at the bottom than it is at the top. That's how these German mugs are. OK, so there's going to be my, my piece right there. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and create two uh, shapes because I want to revolve along two, uh, two rails. So we're going to go ahead and use this tool here, the control point tool. And then I'm going to click in here. I'm going to turn the grid snaps off for this. So we'll go ahead and just start clicking to create this handle. Right mouse click to finish. I'll go ahead and get the that tool again, and we'll create our uh, second line here. Right mouse click. Okay, now we have our two points to sweep. So I'll go ahead and get rid of this graphic. So this is going to be kind of our odd shaped beer mug. Um, let's go see if I can uh, fill it this little piece down here. Okay, there we go. That might be better. And then, um, okay, now I'm going to go back to the, the uh, four viewports. So I'm going to go ahead and revolve. So we'll type in revolve in the command prompt. I'm going to be revolving this piece here. So we'll right mouse click. We want to turn on our grid snaps. We want to come from the bottom straight up. And then enter, enter. Get the full revolve. We're going to click in the perspective window. We're going to go ahead and go up to view. And we're going to change that to rendered so we can get an idea. And okay, now we want to go ahead. I want to create um, a rectangular. Um, actually, let's come over here and see where this handle is. Okay, there's the endpoints to the handle. So we're going to go ahead and outline that. And we're going to get our ellipse tool. We're going to start there, drag out, and then kind of flare it open. Okay, that's the first one. Right mouse click. Start here. Kind of flare it out a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and get our pointer tool. Click off of this mug. We're going to rotate this around because I need to move these shapes right here back into the handle. So we'll go ahead and we're going to create, click on that one shape. I'm going to drag the red arrow. And then we're going to uh, move it about to there. Then we're going to click on the other one, say that's a curve. Then we're going to drag that one about to there. Now we're going to rotate. We're going to grab this blue handle. 
Well, let's undo that. Let me turn off the grid snaps. Might cause a problem with this one. Go ahead and click. Okay, that one's okay. Now go ahead and select the second one. Grab the blue handle and we'll rotate. Okay. Um, not sure these are going to sweep good. It looks like this one's a lot bigger. So let's zoom in. We're going to go zoom dynamic and then we're going to come in, in here like this. Okay. Now what I need to do is move this. This piece has to be moved up quite a bit. And probably also going to need to be scaled. Okay, so let's type in scale in the command prompt. Hit enter. Let's do that bottom one first. We'll go from the midpoint up a little bit. And then we'll scale down. Okay, now we'll go do the same up here. Right mouse click. Click that point. Come from this point here up a little bit. And then we'll scale down. We'll bring this whole thing down. Okay, now we're going to type. We're going to click on the actual part that we want to rotate. We want to uh, revolve or sweep. Let's drag this down a little bit. Okay, that looks good there. We'll pan up. I'm going to click on this one. This is uh, what's useful about using Gumball. Is, um wouldn't really be able to do that otherwise. It would be hard. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and let's drag this around. Okay, so now we're going to type in sweep. And we're going to go for the sweep 2. Okay, now it's asking for the first rail. So we want it to be this one. Then it's saying second rail. We want it to be that one. Now it's saying these shapes. So we want it this one first, then this one second, and then we want to hit enter, enter. Okay, so now we can go ahead and say rebuild cross sections with. We want to make it a little smoother, and we can put up the control points to maybe 10, and then we'll say, okay. All right, so this is our this is our beer mug right here. Let's go ahead and, and, and fill it with a color. We could probably say glass, and then we could say a dark blue glass, and we could select everything. Right mouse click on that and say assign. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that revolved piece. Don't need it. I'm going to double click on perspective so we open up, see what it looks like in actual glass. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the um, the rails, the sweep rails. We don't need those anymore. And then we'll rotate that around. Handle's a little thin. Could probably beef that up a little bit. Let's go into the four mode. Go ahead and drag a marquee around the handle. Actually, just click on it. And then I'm going to uh, click on it. We're going to make it a little bit thicker. Okay, now let's try that out. That's a little better. Okay, now I'll double click here in perspective. Take a look at the, the mug. Well, wow, it's kind of weird to know where it is when it's glass. That's the bottom. This is the top. Oh, that's the bottom. The thin part is the top. Okay. So basically, this is our mug. And I'll go ahead and go up to view. We can do a ray trace on this, see what it's going to look like. 
I got a fairly fast computer, so it shouldn't take too long. It needs to get to a thousand on the ray trace, thousand cycles. Make sure when you do when you use in the ray trace that you don't move um, or rotate or move or do anything to your beer mug because it will start over. Right now it's at about 300. Got about 700 to go. Yeah, you're not going to really get the the how it's going to look until you do the ray trace rendering because the other one is just basically a basic render it doesn't show you what it's really going to be like um, and once you get the ray trace one done it's going to be exactly how it would be if it was made out of glass or close enough okay we're at uh, 600 out of a thousand Give it some time, and then once it's done, you can go ahead and take a screen capture of it. Use your screen capture if you're doing this for yourself or for portfolio. Okay, it's at 700. Approaching 8. Okay, it's at 800 now. It's got 200 more to go, and then we'll go ahead and do the screen capture, and then I'll end the tutorial. Nine hundred. Okay, one thousand. So it's finished. And now I'm going to do the Windows symbol Shift S, and we're going to go ahead and take a screen capture of this. And then we'll go ahead and uh, open it up and paint. Control V to paste. We'll go ahead and hit crop and then we'll save this. I'm going to save it as JPEG and we'll call this uh, blue, blue beer mug. Desktop, save. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully, you got something useful out of this and enjoyed watching the video. And thanks again for watching.